Many within the castle praise your bold deeds of late. I pray such good works continue apace. I've more tasks that require your attention. Pray, make your choice, sir. I'd a task I wished entrusted to you, sir. But Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? She must be kept safe. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. There's talk of revolt in the north. Won't say I cannot understand the impulse. Manning a desolate stronghold that just as like serves no use in staying the dragon is mean work. There's only so much fear and idleness a man can take, especially on those meager wages. The stone of the north? Aye. There's tell Lord Julian wrote for there not long ago. I don't ken the cause of the uproar, but I'll warrant the matters well in hand. By all accounts, he's as skilled a diplomat as a warrior. Equal parts fox and lion, that one. The Stone of the North, by all... Take it you've heard. Then you'll know that this task is mine. I'll not be an idle burden on the Duke's hospitality any longer. And surely you've won enough glory, sir. Allow me this one chance to approve myself. You have my thanks. This matter concerns Lord Julian as well. There is talk of dark happenings at the Stone of the North. Lord Julian's watch. He set out for the hold himself some time ago. But there has been no word since. Someone must go and see what is become of him. As a fellow guest of the Duke's, I felt it my duty. I would forbid you from interceding, but you no doubt have your own reasons for going. I will not stop you from joining me, but neither can I wait. Follow if you wish, sir. I am off. We know the way to the stone. Let us make haste. The stone of the north is not so far from the capital. I'll guide you.
stone is also known as Windbluff Tower. It lies not far from here. Grand Sora, the beating heart of all Grandsis. Fine landmark. What say you were risen? Quite the prize, eh? Twas I what found it. Though I'll claim no glory in the beast's death. Seems the Maker's at last taken note of all my good deeds. <laughs> no cause for worry, friend. The beast is well and dead. In truth, it was quite fortuitous to stumble on such a creature freshly fallen. We're headed for Grand Sorin with a trophy for his grace. We came upon it in the Western Road. Truth be told, the beast was dead ere we came upon it. It is less of a trophy than a windfall. Still, a creature in such pristine condition makes a fine offering. The Duke will reward us well. Lack of supplies has weakened the Duke's defenses in the north. This way to the stone, Master. There, Master! Snow on this! I have it! So myself. Every beast 
has its weakness. Observe closely and learn to exploit it. Tis weary work standing guard in hostile lands. Morale can falter. There, Master! Dire wolves! Colluded with Salvation to work sedition among the Duke's men! Salvation? You place me in ill company. I'm a man of this world. Fantasies of death and redemption concern me not one whit. Now legends. Legends stoke up the masses. If Duke Edmund were to best a second dragon, Francis would take the Ascendant. But her neighbors ill want the giant looming at their borders, am I wrong? Spare me your sophistry! The word neighbor sours on your forky tongue. Our lands have long sworn unstinting aid to any neighbor beside of the dragon. <laughs> unstinting, you say? Tell me then. Why has your Lord Father not sent your brother, joined by Hearthstone's finest steel? Why am I speaking instead with a bleating she-goat mocked even by her own men? You will retract those words, sir! Else suffer what consequence? Else I shall wash my honor clean in your blood! And you? You will play her second? I would welcome the challenge. Stay out of this! He's made an open mockery of me and my homeland! I had thought, nay trusted you were above the base treasons of salvation's like. The knight's champion! An earthbreaker of your ilk is champion to no man, Julian. Salvation? <laughs> Damns a lot of them. And their idle talk of destruction and redemption. They were convenient to my purpose, nothing. The day of Edmund Dragon's Bay in his past, he will not slay another worm. So what cause is served by sending men to die for his pleasure? The swift death of Grancis is the greatest mercy to my neighbors. And what 
of those of this land who will die for your peace. Will you stand idly by while a people lose their land, their very lives? <laughs> you all the arisen. A debt of thanks, woman. Your she-god's pride is lost. But you've kept your head. Make a pitiable sight. I knew. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not. I must make a pity. I knew. Still... I am bested, sir. Slain by your hand, and brought back as well. Such utter defeat ill leaves room for argument. I shall return to the capital and place myself at the mercy of the court. They will have my confession and my head, should they wish it. And you shall have the glory, sir. Why not? I've no design on running. Even as I am, I've still some semblance of pride. I leave you with a word of warning. The revolt was but a diversion. The killing blow will be delivered elsewhere. Pay heed, sir. Sight. I knew. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not... I fear I put on a shameful display. Lord Julian had the truth of it, every word. I am weak. I serve no purpose here, save as hollow homage to an empty pact. Aids in name only. Hearthstone or Grancis, there's not a man in either who expected anything else of me. I knew it well enough, tasted it on every breath I drew. Yet still, I fancied myself a knight. A reason. I will return to Hearthstone. Not to lick my wounds, but to petition my Lord Father that Grancy's people receive true aid. I will not send you to meet the dragon with their fates weighing upon you. After, I shall return here to aid you however I may. I am a fool. Pray, accept this token. I haven't much to give. It would please me to know it provided you some small comfort on the journey. I cannot hope to grow strong overnight, but I will return a woman able to serve you. Until then, pray be well. Strongholds need be pretty, only sturdy.
Here, near the capital. It must be safe. The walls bear heavy scars. I fear it is too late now to mend them. You are blind to the truth, Arisen! Ramsor and guards. You are blind to the truth, Arisen! You are blind! You are blind to the truth. The uprising at the Stronghold was Salvation's handiwork. Villains all, those zealots. Tis a painful thing to hear it was Lord Julian who had led them, though. I'd always heard him told a good and noble knight. I suppose the greatest of men is still human. Hmm. He'll be rotting in a cell below the castle now. Tis a terrible waste. We've arrived at the Duke's northern stronghold. If you lose your way, you need... The uprising at the... I know it. Hmm. I see the hole. It is weary work standing guard in hostile lands. Morale can falter. Every beast has its weakness. Observe closely and learn to exploit it. I hear a lack of supplies has weakened the Duke's defenses in the north. is a fine landmark. We are headed for Grand Sorin with a trophy for his grace. We came upon it in the western road. Truth be told, the beast was still a creature in such... Goblin! Any that would target the Arisen are mine. Watch for ranged attacks! Stay wary. Stray from the roads and you'll soon find monsters arisen.
The noblest of convictions can't fill a man's belly as well as the basest coin, eh? You think me a fool for coming back? For not running? Hmm. Perhaps I am. In truth, I hardly know my own reasons. I cannot think the Duke has any hope of victory in his campaign against the Dragon. I thought it a mercy to speed the land to his downfall, and so I sought descent. Better that men at arms turn and run than stand and die. With them gone, the people too would flee. I was sure it was the best way. The only way. Until I came to know you, sir. You brought doubt with you. Perhaps. Perhaps you might yet best the dragon, I thought. Tis a strange thing. To find such hope unwelcome. Enough. Pray leave this place. It ill serves you to linger here. Take this token for your troubles. I have little need for such possessions now. Take all I have. Take it, Arism, and go. Pray that my sentence is stayed long enough that I may hear my fool's hope confirmed. Fair Fisher Knight. As if we hadn't cause enough to worry already. It seems the Stone of the North stands quiet once again. You have my thanks. It was an ill surprise indeed to find salvation's reach extend so deep within our ranks. It is a testament to the rising fear within the people's hearts. We must be vigilant against such corruption, lest the duchy rot away before the dragon ever comes.